I should start by saying that we don't really have a secret formula or a, a sort of secret source for teaching mathematics really well. Um, I, I don't think anybody really does. Uh, except that what we can do is share ideas. Uh, we can share ideas um, uh, that have proved to be fairly successful uh, in the teaching of mathematics. Uh, one such idea is the following. One should, as much as one possibly can, uh, pose questions that are derived from the real world but where, where they have a direct application uh, of some underlying math concept. Let's give a very simple example. I can pose the following question to a child. Uh, can you please calculate uh, 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 4? Sure, that's a valid question. But I can pose it in another way. I can say, imagine that you have an apple. Uh, you took that apple to school. You had uh, a third of the apple before lunch. And then you have a quarter of the apple after lunch. How much of the apple did you actually eat? Now, both of these questions are related to the addition of fractions. But the second question is a little bit more engaging. Now, we can turn the question around. We can say uh, the same apple, you've taken it to school again, and you had a third of the apple before lunch, you had a quarter of the apple after lunch. How much of the apple is actually left? Now, this is a question which is related to the subtraction of fractions. So, it's really important, we think, to be able to pose questions uh, in this way. Uh, for two reasons. Number one is, you know, it, it's just much more engaging uh, for the student if you pose real world questions. But uh, the other really important reason is that uh, such, through such questions, we are in a position to establish the connection between real world problems and math concepts. Because, you know, the typical response or a very, very typical response from students is, why are you teaching this to me? This will never be used in the real world. I cannot see any application of it, so on and so forth. So, the central message of this uh, short video is to say that uh, do really make the effort, uh, take the time, energy and effort to actually pose uh, relevant real world questions uh, as much as one possibly can. Uh, while we are introducing uh, math concepts.